Okay, so as you may have heard, the Galaxy S23 Ultra has been a pretty successful launch for Samsung so far. A lot of people are switching to this device from iPhones from previous Samsung models. In terms of design, it may seem somewhat iterative. However, it has an improved camera system, it has an improved processor. That being said, Samsung being Samsung, there are some annoying things that with this device, especially with the software. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to solve five of those. There, you may encounter like some other ones that annoy you more. These five annoying things are based off of my uh, user experience, of my use cases. And if you see some other things that annoy the hell out of you, you can leave those in the comments and I'm gonna do a video on how to solve those. However, most of these things can be solved because it's Android, it's more flexible and I'm gonna walk you through it now. Okay, so one of the first things that you may notice is whenever you're taking photos in the camera app, and you're close to the subject that you're taking the photo of, the lenses may start switching in order to accommodate for more light or to fix the focusing issues that you might have. And that can be pretty annoying because not all lenses perform the same in all situations. Okay, so let me tell you how you can fix that with the Samsung Good Luck app. Uh, so this app, Samsung being Samsung, is not available in a lot of regions, so you're pretty much out of luck if you're not in Korea, US, UK, etc. Uh, what you can do is to sideload basically this app uh, from like mirror websites. I know that's not the best thing to do, like that's not the best advice, however, uh, there aren't many workarounds around this. Uh, so let me show you how you can do that. Uh, what you do is go into APK mirror and search for Samsung Good Luck. When you scroll down a little bit, uh, you'll see the download link here and you just tap on that link and the download starts there. There's nothing like extraordinary about this. So after the file has downloaded, you basically install the APK and you open the app. So for some reason, uh, in my case, the first tab that says makeup isn't actually doing anything. So if I tap on it, like it's not loading. However, uh, if I open up the second tab, which is life up for, for whatever reason called, um, you can see that you have an app here, which is not really an app, I guess, although it's like a module, so go ahead and download this one. Uh, you can see it says like it allows a lot more customizability, allows it to change like a lot of the settings, etc. So let's go ahead and install this. So it's like an app. If you open this, uh, it opens the camera assistant settings menu and you're gonna have the same menu available from inside the camera app. So if I go into settings, you can see that the camera assistant option uh, is available, which basically opens the same screen. From here, you can toggle on off the auto HDR and you have the uh, much needed feature of auto lens switching. switching. I suggest to turn this off because it's very uh, annoying whenever you're trying to take photo of a subject, you may be inclined to basically hold the device steady you have picture softening. So if you think that, for example, uh, for your taste, the sharpening is too much, too aggressive, you can uh, also uh, make use of the quick tap shutter, which is basically, it allows you to take a photo uh, at the moment you touch the shutter instead of the moment when you let go of the shutter. Okay, so. Uh, the second thing we're going to talk about is the, I guess you could say the abundance of camera apps, the native camera apps on this device. Uh, if you go into the camera app and open the more section, you're going to see that you have the first option, expert draw. 
if you're just setting the device up, this one is gonna be a, a download icon. And the second one is the pro option. In theory, they allow you to do similar things. So if I go into the pro mode, you can see that I have controls over these all these settings. What this basically does is take uh, away most of the auto processing that the regular photo modes would do right here. However, when you go into the expert role, which you can open either from its own icon or from here, from the more uh, menu, from right here, it opens the same app. Uh, as you can see, the app is pretty similar to the pro mode from the camera app. However, as far as I understand, the pro mode in the camera app uh, does a little more processing than this one uh, because most of the raw files that you're gonna see from like smartphones, they're gonna be processed raw files. And I guess um, the moral of the story is, uh, if you're someone that takes uh, raw files, uh, raw photos, I guess you can leave them both here. And whenever you, you're in a situation that you wanna take a raw file and then edit it later in Lightroom, for example, just, uh, open the expert row right away. The next thing that could be extremely infuriating is the fingerprints, especially when you have a screen protector like this one. So this is a glass screen protector from Samsung and it has been applied by Samsung in a Samsung store. However, um, there are a few things you want to check if you have a glass screen protector applied. Okay, so the first thing you want to check is if you have touch sensitivity enabled because without that, the sensitivity of the screen is going to be pretty bad. So you go into settings, you open the display, scroll down to the bottom and check if you have the touch sensitivity enabled. If you do, the second part of the problem is getting the fingerprint to work the fingerprint scanner to work. Okay, so what do you do? You go into the um, settings menu, you scroll down until you see, until you see the security and privacy menu, you go into biometrics, fingerprints. Uh, and so in a regular situation, what you would do is basically set up one finger at a time, basically, right? However, I found that with a glass screen protector, the better move is to basically in one go, do both fingers. As you can see, like the, the scanner is pretty iffy with the screen protector. So you're, you're, you're gonna need uh, some kind of a workaround. And I suggest you do this like a couple of times, as you can see, like I have three set up. All of these are my two thumbs. I'm just done with, the, with this method instead of uh, enrolling each one as a separate fingerprint. So yeah, uh, the fourth thing I would suggest you to do, um, and this can be like, uh, this applies to like a lot of different things especially if you use a lot of like uh, Instagram, Reddit, like social media where you scroll both up and down and left to right, is adjust the gesture sensitivity. So if you have these gestures set up where you don't have the button at the bottom, which I suggest you do, you enable this uh, gesture bar, which you can do uh, in the display settings tap on navigation bar and enable the gestures. However, um, if you're scrolling on Instagram and there's like a carousel, like you have to scroll horizontally, a lot of the time the gesture will trigger and you'll go back, which is pretty annoying. So I suggest you just lower it to the lowest option available. As you can see, uh, the preview of the gestures, it shows you where they would be. Uh, so this also applies if you use the S Pen a lot, for example, to take notes and so on, because uh, whenever you write 
uh, basically closer to the edges of the screen, it's gonna be triggering the back gesture. However, if you have this issue, I suggest you to disable gestures for the S Pen. So you go into the same menu, you go into navigation bar settings, and you just enable the, the setting that says block gestures with S Pen. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about is the issue with crop snapping in the native editing app. So let me show you what I mean. Let me try to trigger it here. So whenever you're in the native editing app and you try to crop uh, an image, it will kind of randomly almost pick a ratio and just snap to that ratio and it won't get, let you move the handles for a bit. And as far as I know, this issue can all be, only be solved uh, in one way, which is installing an app called Nice Shot from the Good Luck uh, kind of store. I guess that would be in this section, which is available, unavailable for me. So if you have like Good Luck app available in your region and you're facing the crop snapping issue, you could try to get the nice shot app and then turn the crop snapping off basically. So yeah, these are five issues that I've been annoyed by extremely from Samsung um, and how to bypass them or solve them. If you have any more, leave them in the comments. I might do another video in the future. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.